WBZ exclusive tonight where the teens inside this limo that burst into flames, were they destined for a dangerous ride? The video, of course, is frightening. Thankfully, the 10 Natick teens inside made it out okay. But when we did some digging, we found a number of other problems that put these kids just headed to the prom at risk. And new at 6, our Christina Hager has more on what she uncovered. It's a story you'll see only on WBZ. 17-year-old Alexander Houtsmith and his date were proud to have pooled their own money with friends to pay for the limo one of them found without their parents' help, Alexander's mom. When the limo pulled up, I didn't have a great feeling about it. For two miles, no regrets. Then this. Oh, oh my God! Oh, my God! Ten oh teenagers God. got out unharmed, but we found records showing the limo was registered to carry only six, avoiding the state inspections required for a 10-passenger vehicle. The driver, Yasser Sati, who told us flames suddenly shot out of the front passenger floor, has a checkered driving history. In the last decade, two suspensions, two accidents, four citations for speeding, two for failing to stop, and other problems. He worked for Boston Bob's Limousine. The address for Boston Bob's Limousine comes back to the shipwreck lounge on Revere Beach, of all places. And when I went inside and asked about the limousine service, the bartender handed me the business card for Boston Bob's Limousine, saying he used to live here at one time. When we checked City Hall, there was no business certificate for Boston Bob's Limo to legally operate out of Revere. It's a story that makes legitimate limo drivers cringe. If you see the company has been around for a while, I would lean towards a company like that being a little more trustworthy than somebody that just popped up. Paula Houtsmith hopes other parents are watching. Everything's happening. Pictures are going on. They're excited. There's so many moving pieces. And you're assuming your kids are going to come home safe and that they're going to get there safe. I talked with the owner of Boston Bob's limo by phone today, and he said that that limo had more than 100,000 miles on it, and the Natick Fire Department told him the fire started in the engine. He also told me he's still open for business, Paula. Wow. It's incredible. We're in the middle of prom season, and I think people usually think if you get a limo for teenagers, you're doing it for safety so they don't drive. So how do you know if a limo company you is legit? assume it would be safe and that there would be oversight. The biggest piece of advice seems like the most obvious, but there are so many online reviews mm. of all the companies out there now. That's the easiest way to check up. When I checked this particular company, I couldn't find one review. There were a few business mm. listings, but not even an official company website. That's a red flag right there. It seems mysterious. Great story. Christina Hager, thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you, Paula. Thanks.